In my YouTube tutorial last week, last Friday, I talked all about GDPR and the exact steps I took to get GDPR ready. I also mentioned a thank you page and in this YouTube tutorial, I want to show you how to create the thank you page in Squarespace so people are going to be automatically led back or guided back to your Squarespace website after signing up. Um, on your MailChimp form, you know, the GDPR compliant way, but that way you don't lose them. They're going to come back to your site and they can keep ex exploring your website. So let's do it. Let's go into Squarespace. Okay, so here I am in my Squarespace website in my dashboard inside Squarespace and I'm going to go into pages. I'm going to scroll down to the not linked section, which is here. I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to click page instead of cover page because in the cover page, they don't have a navigation bar. So like here, for example, this is a cover page, but I want them to be able to just explore my website before they sign up because they don't know me yet. So uh, I want them to land here. So therefore, they have all the options they want and they can explore my website. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. And that's why I wanted that to be that page instead of a cover page. So I'm going to go with a normal page. And then you can name it whichever way you want. Like, thank you. I'm going to just say example. So I know which one to delete later. And then I'm going to check all the layouts here. And I went, which one did I go for? Okay, here it is. Gosh, I couldn't see the wood for the trees there. Okay, and then now we have the image here. I'm going to click on start editing because this is what I want. Makes it easy for me to just add my image. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to add this image here um, like a thank you image. So let's do that. Click on add image and look for my image. And there it is. It's the thank you image. This is the original. So it's 1.9 megabyte and I'm using Unsplash. Dot com, which is my uh, favorite uh, image library, just so you know, just so you can use it too. It's free. So just by the way, um, but I reduced this image uh, because I don't need it that big and I don't want there to be any slow loading time. So I'm usually reducing all of my images first um, because you don't want people to wait until the website is loading because you will lose them. So let's do that again. I don't know why it didn't take it. Oh, it did. I just have to be more patient. Um, and now I'm going to just resize it so I can see the entire picture. And that's how I do that. And then I go back here just to copy the copy, just to save us some time, because I just wanted to quickly show you how I do, how I did it. So I went into the text block and just pasted my text here. Obviously, I would have written the copy first. And then um, I did that. And here I'm going to take this away which means this is going to take on the same um, font. I don't want that. So I go back into the heading, click on normal. And there you go. The font is back into normal. And then I just put in another text block here. See how the little drop comes up? Click on the little drop, click on text. And I'm going to paste the text here. If you were pasting the text from somewhere else, Usually it's just like this normal text in order to make it into your bigger text into a bigger heading. You can choose either either your heading two or your heading three like this. I'm going to just choose heading two because I want it to stay black and uh, where I would have changed this font of uh, the headings two and one. Uh, for example, heading one, it's my color that I always lose uh, use lose. Um, so click save where I would do that. I'm just going to quickly show you in design and in the style editor. See, so when you click, when you just let it load here for a second and then you click into the text. Now I can change the, change the color here. So that's how I did it. That's where I did it. But that's just, um, on the side, I'm going to discard this because I don't want to change it, but that's where I did that. So now let's get Let's go back in here into the editing mode and then I'm going to go into the page. What else? I added some buttons. How can I help you? This is leading into my work with me page. See how it opens in a new window here. 
and then want to chat over coffee. This is a free chat that I offer for people to just chat with me and it leads directly into the Google form. Um, so I can get the information so we can make the most out of the call. And this one here just leads into my blog. So, and that is that. That's what I'm doing now. So we're going to go into the little drop. Then we go into button and then type in the text here question mark and I'm just going to quickly check is this the small button or not because I can also change the button here in this size to a small button or a large button and you can change it uh, where I did where I changed the other thing in the editing and in the style editor it's the same thing you click into it and then you can change it so I am now going to put the URL in here and in this case the URL was let me just quickly do it the work with me URL so that way I can put it into the click through URL, paste it here and click in the open window. But you can also get the URL in another way by clicking content and then go into your work with me page. I tend to always use the URL because it's quicker that way, but you can do it this way as well. And now I'm going to add another button and call it, what do we call it? want to chat over coffee because it's free so wanna chat over coffee again a question mark and i'm going to click put the url in here because in this case it's the it's the form the google form so i'm going to put the entire link here in this case it is actually an external link open in a new window and there you go click apply and now i'm going to add the last button in this case it's what's new on the blog so let's just quickly type it in question mark and again we are going to just copy the blog sneak peek URL but again you can also choose content and do it that way but in my case I always tend to use the external link because it's quicker with just the little keys the key shortcuts and now I want them all beside each other, so I just drag them over, which is why I love Squarespace so much. It's easy peasy. So what have we here? Happy exploring. That's the last step. Click into it. Happy exploring. Again, if you copy it from a Word document or so, it would usually be like this, but all you do is highlight it and choose your heading. And that's it. That is your thank you page done. I'm going to click save. So now I want to link it up to MailChimp so that people are being guided into this page after signing up on my MailChimp form. And my MailChimp form looks like this. So that's the MailChimp form. And when people sign up here, let's say I sign up and say like this and they want the freebie and then they click I agree and then they click subscribe me to Kirsten's VIP email list click here and click I'm not a robot and again subscribe me to Kirsten's VIP list and see how they are automatically back on my website which is brilliant so that's a little trick and all you do in MailChimp let me quickly show you is you go into your MailChimp account you go into the list that into your main list so i have a couple of lists but they are customers but this here is my main email list i go into it i go into the sign up forms click here and then click select and then here when i go onto the forms and response emails drop down menu find the confirmation thank you page and right here, this is the default, MailChimp's default of the thank you page. But you are just on MailChimp and you are not on your website. So you want them to come back to your website. And right here is where you put the link of your thank you page. So in this case, that's the link I copied. Control C, went back to MailChimp. Control V, clicked save. And that's all you have to do. And you're all done. Okay, and that's today's tutorial done. Let me know if it helped uh, in the comments below. Um, let me know what you thought. And also, if you have any questions or you can think of a tutorial for next Friday, let me know as well. Also, make sure to subscribe to 
this YouTube um, channel so that you don't miss any future tutorials. Um, yeah, and if you want also, of course, hop on my VIP email list. It's all GDPR compliant. So make sure to grab your freebie as a thank you. And uh, what else can I tell you? Yeah, make sure to subscribe and I would love to hear from you. Let's get this party going. Thank you for watching and I will see you next Friday. Talk to you soon.